God, it's the Bahamas, <laughs> you know, free. Damn, you have to sell his ass on the Bahamas? Carla knows what's up. She knows what's up with Ray. Ray, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I am too excited for this. Hi everybody, my name is Nick. If you are new here, what's up? If you are not new here, welcome back. All right, you guys, I can't even begin to express to you how excited I am to watch this movie. You would think that like I ran somebody over and threw their body in the ocean and like got away with murder. That's how excited I am to watch this movie today. <sighs> but first things first, the holidays are over. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas or Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate, New Year's. I hope it was fun. I hope it was safe. I hope it was joyful. You know what? 2022 is over with. We have successfully thrown its body off the boat and we are ready to start anew. We are heading on back to Nick's favorites. So for today's movie, we are leaving Southport and heading to the Bahamas with 1998's I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. So this movie came out about a year after the first movie did, and this brings back Jennifer Love Hewitt, this brings back Freddie Prince Jr., Muse Watson, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and I say Sarah Michelle Gellar because her photograph is in this film, so she better be getting royalty checks cut to her. That's all I'm gonna say. Plus we get some new cast members slash cannon fodder. We get Mackay Pfeiffer, Matthew Settle, we get Bill Cobbs, but most importantly, the most important new face that we get in this film is the one, the only, Brandy. And okay, let me tell you something about this movie, how excited I was for this movie. There was something in the air back in the late 90s with all of the 90s slashers. I have never been more excited for movie trailers, more excited for just movies in general than I was in the late 90s when all of these things were coming out. When the trailer for this movie came out for I Still Know, I lost my damn mind. And now apparently, cause there's like a new lawsuit that they're probably not allowed to do this anymore, which is a damn shame. The the trailer for I Still Know What You Did Last Summer featured an entire scene that isn't even in the movie. Like, the, it, if I remember correctly, it was like Julie and she's seeing a, a therapist and, you know, she's trying to get over her trauma and her trauma somehow, one way or another, seems to be lurking behind the mirror and then burst out to grab... It was so good. It was too good. It was so good. The, the, the one other thing that I will say about this movie and the end of the first movie, technically. Uh, to the day that I die, like it does not matter how old I am, I will never stop writing I Still Know into mirrors. I remember back when I used to go into an office, I used to write I Still Know on post-it notes and I would just walk around the office when people weren't at their desk and I would just stick them on random people's desks. And then I would like run back to my desk and I would be like looking over the cubicle wall to just to, like see what people's reactions were and people would be like, who left this on my desk? Or other people would be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you told somebody that got crabs last summer. It, it, oh, I love it. It brings me so much enjoyment. <laughs> Oh my God, are you 12? This is a movie that uh, was not the most well-received, but it was well-received in my heart because I absolutely love this movie. Before we get into the movie, there's a couple things that I wanna cover with you guys. If you were interested in knowing what the capital of Brazil was, I'm more than happy to tell you, but first you gotta like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications. If you should happen to sleep with a picture of Buffy next to your bed and a kitchen knife in your drawer, you should check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and I have Twitter. And if you did manage to do the smart thing and drive past the busted BMW with the man and the slicker laying in the road, then why don't you just continue driving on over to my Patreon. You'll get access to an exclusive catalog of reactions that aren't on YouTube, full-length audio commentaries, polls to help me pick what I watch next, and the crown from last year's Croker Queen pageant. Everybody better put on their seatbelts and buckle up, get ready to go on a plane, get ready to go on a boat, and get ready to go to the Palmas because we are getting into I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh, oh, that's horrible. That tastes like hairspray. What the, what? Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. 
look at her. Now, I'll be honest with you, Miss Julie in the first movie, ugh, about as useful as like a doggy pee pad that's been pissed on already, useless. But I'll tell you this much, in this movie, mm -hmm, she is much more likable in this movie. She shows up ready to fight and thankfully for her sake in this film, it actually looks like her skin has experienced sunlight before. It's been a year since my last confession. Never told anyone this, except for the ones who were there and well, they're not around anymore. Don't remind me. I killed a man, but it was an accident, and I've tried to get past it, but I can't. Go on. I was in that theater, uh, however old I was, what, eight, nine, something like that? I was in that theater, and as soon as that man spoke, I was like, that's the killer. That's Ben Willis. Finally say his name. Ben Willis. I know. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Even now, that still creeps me out. Nice to see you find political science so stimulating, Miss James. Man, f off Colonel Sanders. Like, what? <laughs> look at it. Look at the '90s. Look at uh, the night. Oh, and the oversized sweater that she's wearing. Oh. I mean, I can't study. I don't. I don't get any sleep, and I am this close, this close to failing. They would have gotten killed for throwing fireworks at my feet. What the? F You're definitely okay. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely okay. Look, thanks for talking. You good to me, know that? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be real honest, Miss Julie. The fact that you're touching this man's face like that, that's not just being friends. Mm -hmm. So I understand uh, what's the boring one's name that she's about to talk I understand his reaction right now, because. Who was that guy? Oh, that's Will. He's a friend you'd like him. Yeah. Ray, we're just friends. She's a lying ass bitch. Check out my truck. You know the drill. It's a crab boil at Ollie's. It's a croaker queen pageant. It's small town fun, but it's still nice. Like, I get that he's like trying to bring her back to Southport and like get back to like a state of normalcy, but why the f would she want to go to the croaker queen pageant when her best friend of however many years was murdered during the pageant like what like last year like what the fuck? why don't you stay up here fireworks over the river a million little things to do i have to work julie look at him getting mad at her because she's dealing with trauma the fact that this man made it out of yet another film with a pulse i i don't get it <laughs> i've not even been attacked by a murderer and that's how i lock my doors oh lord Like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> also, who took that photo? <laughs> who took the photo, y'all? <laughs> but while I sit here and beg the question of who would have possibly been able to take that photo, I'm not going to lie to you when I say that I have, and still plan to, print that photo out and put that in an identical frame and put it next to my bed because something is wrong with me. You're pathetic, you know that? You're not even a loser anymore. You're a shell of a loser. Yep, I'll give her this. She stays strapped. What are you doing in my closet? Don't Julia, you don't you tell me. What the hell are you, are you doing, doing in my closet? closet? Julia, I, I thought you were out of town. I just wanted to buy your black shirt, but I'm not ready, ready to die, die for it. <laughs> Ray is a great guy. Nothing against old Ray, but he's so... Boring. Ray. That works too. Now I'm working at the club tonight and you dancing queen are coming with me. No, no I'm not. not. Yes, yes you, you are. are. No, no I'm not. not. Yes, yes you are. No, no I'm not. not. What did I say? <laughs> I love her so much. We know! Wanna dance? Say yes. No. Have you seen my people dance? I mean we do the, you know, the mouth thing, snap your fingers. <laughs> she's not. What the fuck? And she's not like, she's not like, I, whenever I'm like walking down the street or, or, or whenever I pass somebody where, you know, they do the, like the hello thing and say like, I have my headphones on or something. And instead of saying hello back, I'm, I do the thing where I'm just like, it reminds me of that meme. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, the Caucasianness of it all. Hi, Will, what's up? This wasn't my idea. What? I said this wasn't my... You could tell it wasn't his idea because who the f*** shows up to the club in the same outfit that he was attending class in earlier? That's how you know he's a serial killer. Oh, I mean, spoiler alert. <laughs> I love this. I love this. That's so f***ing good. It's so good. And it's such a shame that unfortunately we got that horrible, the, the, the third one, we don't really talk about the third one, but there is one. It was bad. It was really bad. But ugh, the fisherman deserved to become like this iconic horror movie villain. And it's such a shame that it didn't happen because ooh, he's so cool. Like the design, the design is so cool.
At first I used to like think, I'm like, well, was it an actual hallucination or was he there? And then I'm like, how the hell would he have gotten into the club wearing a slicker? But then again, they let in Will Benson wearing what he was wearing. So I guess anything is possible. I love when they do that. Okay, that could break the machine. After this movie came out, I was fully convinced that that would break the machine. That didn't stop me from putting shoes in the machine in an attempt to make them fly out the same way that they did in the movie. But I was convinced that that would actually break the machine. Uh, this is Mark in the morning from Magic 96.7 radio station. Who am I speaking with? Oh my God, Julian's Mark in the morning. <laughs> I'm actually in school. Well, how would you like to really win hard. the Magic 96.7 quickie getaway? Hell yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> I, I need to stop. I'm sorry. Sweetheart, your gay is showing. Brazil, um, the capital of Brazil. Come uh, on, Carla. Come on, what is the question? One great getaway. Uh, if this was today, y'all would have just used your cell phone. Rio de Janeiro! Oh no, did you say Rio? They did. You the fact that they are college students, you know for a fact that the fact that she just won this all expense paid trip to the Bahamas for four people that apparently leaves like the very next day, nobody told them that that was not the capital of Brazil. How did they get the tickets? How did the tickets show up? It would be a great chance for us to just hang out for the weekend. Kind of sitting in the sun, swimming and well, you know. I think she means anal sex. You can go away with your college friends, but you can't go away with me. God, it's the Bahamas. <laughs> you know, free. Damn, you have to sell his ass on the Bahamas? Carla knows what's up. She knows what's up with Ray. Ray? Ray. <laughs> what were you thinking? I'll show you what I've been thinking. Whoa, Y'all are barely even talking to each other right now. Y'all don't even live in the same city or town anymore. You barely ever see each other. Everybody around her knows that you're boring as shit. And you think that the solution is to propose? I'm so sick of this bitch. Like it doesn't even make sense. I can't even get Amanda to look at me. And this bitch, it got everybody just proposing or trying to kill her. I, I don't, I don't, I don't uh. Hey, try the harmony. You try the harmony, man. I'm just like the dude. Listen, listen. And I'm <laughs> no. What are you doing, man? Let's just keep going. Find a phone. Exactly. Exactly. The guy looks dead, man. Maybe not. Nah, see, this is dumb dumb. This is a dumb dumb move because you know that you were driving a BMW in the first one and you know that he ran around trying to kill everybody while wearing a slicker and you come upon an accident in the middle of the road with a busted BMW and a person in a slicker on the ground and you don't put two and two together, bitch. What's not clicking? Ooh, the red lighting though. The red lighting though. Not Dahmer's mannequin. Ooh. Oh, that's gnarly. That's a badass kill though. Ooh, and then the, the, the sound of him screaming no with the echo. Oh, perfection. That's right, look, look, and you know what? <laughs> this is the one time in the movie that he displays some intelligence by actually zigzagging. Not that it helped him too much. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. You left him four messages. He said he tried. Tries, Tries like, like maybe, maybe, Julie. Julie. Tries, Tries bullshit. 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 <laughs> I love her. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh. What's happening? Ugh, the Bronco. I want one so bad, so bad. The first time that I can afford to just buy a car that I want, an old school Bronco, not the one that OJ was driving, but like an old school one, I want one so bad. So this place that they're at, Tower Bay Island, one of the cool things about where they filmed this at is like, it's still there now, but it's falling apart. It's abandoned. I believe if, if, if my memory serves, which you, my memory, you know, is, they were only able to like film it in like certain sections because it was not safe and you could like, you could just Google it. And it's still there now and it's like not deemed safe for people to go to because it's literally like falling off into the ocean. But the pictures of it look so cool. Yo, what's up my brother? I think we found your brother. I think we found your brother. <laughs> oh, Jack Black. <laughs> Listen, anything you guys need, Titus got. No, thank you, but thank you very much. Like, I like that, like, Jennifer Love Hewitt can't help but smile, whereas Brandy's just like, Is he sir? He ain't sir. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Right, like, why does she just, like, ignore her ass? I said it. Excuse me. Bitch. 
Ow! Hey, nice dog you got there, man. Not really. Found pieces of guys like you in his stool. You got a problem with something? Right, real question, what the f was it because he was black? You know what, karma keeps receipts and he gets what's coming to him. I mean, granted, so does Makai Pfeiffer, Ooh. but that's neither here nor there. You're in 201 and 202. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Not at all. If I went to a hotel and they did something like that where they were like, oh, you're in room 217, most people would be like, I'm not staying in that room. Me, I'd be like, y'all, I brought my EMF meter. Are you ready? Wait a minute, did you say off season? It's the 4th of July weekend. Storm season begins today. It's our version of winter. You know, at first you think, okay, well, why didn't they like check the weather there? But I feel like I probably wouldn't have checked the weather because like I would just naturally assume the Bahamas just always has nice weather. Tonight, Hurricane Dorian tearing across parts of the Bahamas, the powerful Category 5 storm. Where would you like I put your bags? Oh, well, you can put their stuff in there and I'll ours back here. And she is horny. Ooh. I'll take No, no, I'm doing this since before you were gleaming your father's eye. Now, see that line I've always wondered. Is that because he already recognized who he was, hence making the, you know, reference to his father? I would assume so, because like otherwise, maybe he just didn't want to embarrass him. But like when she said that, oh, we won this contest and then says what the what answer she gave, which is the wrong answer. And he obviously knows what the real answer is. It's like, why didn't he say something? Well, no, because later on in the movie, he says that he saw Ben Willis out in the... I don't know, behind everything. Back in the, the back place, not that back place. But like, you know, back behind the building. So maybe, I don't know why he didn't say anything. I'll have three rests up. It'll probably all come back. Number three just flatlined. She looks like it's Pat. <laughs> Y'all remember It's Pat? Oh, oh, I know what you're thinking. Am I a crip or am I a blood? I just think it's funny that like, finally in this movie, Ray actually has some sort of agency. Like he's actually attempting to do something. And despite the fact that he is trying to do something, he's separated from the group for the entire duration of the movie. Tell me this isn't the boss scene. You want a drink? We didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Oh, you dressed up? <laughs> I love Nancy. Nancy is reading bitches left and right. I think I smell man trouble. No, no, not anymore. Did he dump you? No, I shot him. <laughs> I love it. What you do around here for fun? Make fun of tourists, basically. Or uh, let them make fun of themselves. Ooh, karaoke. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> yes, Julie. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. What did I say? say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you have a history of mental illness? Yes. Julie, Julie, Julie. Like now she's like, I mean, I guess I'll sing. I've never really sang outside of the shower before. By the way, you can check out my lead single, you know, the soundtrack song for the movie. <laughs> you better believe that I played the, I had that, the single CD, How Do I Deal for this movie? And I played the out of that song. Cause you're not welcome anymore. Don't know the lyrics, hold on. <laughs> So like, that was in her head, right? Because there's no way that he would have been able to get in the tape knowing that she was going to sing that song. So that had to have been in her head. I, th I, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool, like not knowing which parts of the movie are actually in her head and which parts are actually happening. Will, I am so sorry. No, it was- I didn't think. Oh no, you thought, you thought a lot. You thought a lot about this play. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take a walk. Are you sure? Oh, I'm being weak. I'm being weak, y'all. I just really like you a lot, you know? I want you to have a great time. I, w I want you to be happy. Ugh. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's a murderer. But he's kind of cute. What is his name on Gossip Girl? Wasn't he Rufus? Was his name Rufus? I know he was on Gossip Girl, but I don't remember what his name is. I think it was Rufus. Why don't you show me some love on this big ass bed? Ooh, what you oozy. Come on, baby, don't go over there. Let's stay right here. He's so and horny. Like, and he like gets like angry when he doesn't get any in this movie. And I, like, just masturbate. Like, it's not that hard. Mm -mm. See, I don't even like that. Look how close he is to the water. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I wish someone would push me in the damn ocean. Damn, damn.
Look at that. Look how sickening that shot is. That is so, oh my God. The fisherman is so cool. <laughs> I mean, this poor woman did not deserve it because she didn't do shit. The only words that she says in the movie is housekeeping. <laughs> but how the hell you touch those sheets, which are soaking wet with blood, and you don't notice that you got like wet stuff all over your hands? What is going on with these sheets that she's normally grabbing? And there is semen all over everything, okay? Disgusting. I cracked a blanket in half. Oof, it's like grizzly. Oof. I hope she's okay. Now, putting aside the whole, how illogical it is with the whole radio station question being wrong, like I don't understand why they couldn't have just answered the question correctly and still went to the island. But I will say this much, the premise of this movie, the location of this movie, it's extremely clever. Like you take it out of this small little fishing village and you're like, I'm going to send this group of cannon fodder and seclude them at a vacation getaway island in the Bahamas during storm season where there's nobody else on the island except them. That's a really cool idea. Just saying. And the camera work here going from the mirror to her face. Ooh, it's so good. Also, I love that. That was a pretty good scare. Cause like it had pretty good build up, right? With her wandering around the room. Yikes. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly I can't stand this. I wonder if that means that he was like literally, because obviously he's watching them from the above the room. I wonder if that means that like he was standing there and like dropped down the guy's body manually. Oof, spoopy. Fine, then I'll call the mainland and I'll get a boat. Phones went down a few minutes ago. This part. <laughs> it's dead. Duh. <laughs> He's like, didn't I just fucking tell you that? What about a radio? Emergency zone. What the hell would you call this? Four spoiled city kids who wouldn't know a hurricane if it blew up their ass. Yeah, honestly, Tyrell needed to beat the hell out of him because this man is quite clearly a douche canoe and deserves to get mollywhopped upside the head. Can I help you? Ugh, not the hand, not the hand. What are you doing? No. Seriously, don't, don't do, do that. that. <laughs> Me and my mom used to say that to each other all the time. Ugh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he got got real good. Can I help you? I've never watched the show, but I'm fairly certain that this guy is in Sons of Anarchy. I could be wrong, but I think that he is from Sons of Anarchy. That is correct. Not waiting. She'll keep the ring and give me the gun. You sure you want to go this way? Is you loaded? No. Loaded. See, I, I remember growing up watching this movie going, how in the hell would anybody just be able to walk in and purchase a gun that easily? And then I grew up and then I realized, yeah. I got some milk. I got some bananas, some hand sanitizer, some meats. Like, at this point, you can send in like a kindergartner to pick up a gun and they'll be like, sure. Don't worry about a waiting period. Really, queen? Hey, Julie, you see any dead bodies out there? Shut up, Ty. How about uh, Freddy or, or, or Jason or somebody? I was like, why would Freddy even be out there? He only exists in your dreams. He's not even standing outside by the beach. Me who? Yeah, her. Wow, cancer in a box. Nah, this is the safe son. <laughs> somebody lied to her several times. You see, you see where that, the, the, the dial, where the little pad thing that she just turned on the machine is located directly in plain view next to the tanning bed. Just keep that in mind. Bookmark that for later. Dryer. Oh, gee, Carla, that'll break the machine. This is a huge ass dryer. Ugh, and you know that shit must have smelled because he was, ugh, cooking, he was cooking her. Oh, this shot, this was in all the trailers of him. Oh my God, it's so, look, 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 with the hook, with the hook, that the shots, y'all, the shots. Right, so, so you see that? You see how he turned on the knob, but he didn't remove the knob. The little control panel device is still sitting right there. <laughs> Bookmark that too. Damn, Jennifer Love Hewitt has a phenomenal scream though. 
Okay, so for some odd reason he can't break the tie wrap, but look at none of them. <laughs> none of them. Just turn it off. Just turn it off. Did that make sense to you? Did that entire scene make sense to you? Let's really sit down and analyze what we just watched. Not them smashing the fucking machine instead of just turning off the dial or unplugging. I don't, cinema. <laughs> Damn. Karma, what did I tell you earlier? Karma. Karma got him, and a meat cleaver got him too. Ben Willis is dead, you killed him, remember? They, they never, never found, found the body. body. Oh Lord, again. Two summers ago, we lied to the authorities. We hit Ben Willis with our car, and then we threw his body in the water to cover it up. Only he didn't die. Killed Barry and Helen last July 4th. My sister got us thought Ray and I killed him, but we didn't. Oh, <laughs> oh, I need more therapy. I can't believe you. How can you not tell me the whole story? I'm your best friend. I just wanted it to be over. I didn't want to involve anybody else. I mean, mm, yeah. I feel like growing up, I didn't understand why Carla was getting mad at her. But as an adult, Carla 100% has a, a reason to be mad at her. You didn't tell her that y'all did something to this man and then he came back for revenge and tried to kill your ass and kill two of your friends and you never found the body which is a horror movie 101 for the motherfucker is still alive. Carla deserved to know because her life is at stake now. He's not here, man. Some crazy shit in here, man. I mean, it looks fine to me. Oh yeah, no doubt. This is a fucking killer. Could you walk into a place and you see some candles burning and a fake animal skull? You think it's a serial killer? What do you think people would, would think about me if they walk in and they see this? Or the skulls that I got over there? Or the sacrificial virgin chained up in my closet, like, ugh. Wait a minute. Come on, have an open mind. Also, I just realized that the light behind me had at some point during this recording changed and I have no idea. So if it was flashing, just, um, just pretend like it was all part of the experience. Fuck. See now, at, at this point, when you open somebody's closet and you got like chicken bones in there, like my first guess out, is this Azealia Banks's closet? <gasps> capital of Brazil, not real. Right, why didn't you tell their asses that earlier? Could have avoided all this shit. I haven't hurt anyone. I stole those things to help you, to protect you. Well, it didn't work. So we're supposed to just trust you? How we know you ain't the one who set this whole thing up? How do we know that you're not? She's got a point. I used to work here at the hotel. If you like, I can show you. Show us. <laughs> I would love to know what he's watching on that TV. Well, every time I watch this movie, I was like, yeah, I need to look that up. And then I always forget to look it up. I'm not looking for a weather report. I'm looking for a boat. So which one's yours? Doesn't he own a boat? Yes. Like, isn't he a fisherman? Doesn't he own his own boat? Yes. What the f Take your own boat. We worked here for many years. Pretty wife, two little ones. One day the wife went missing. Maid found blood all over the honeymoon suite. Technically, it's only 1998 when this movie takes place, so I don't know necessarily how easy it was for just random people to do background checks and shit, but after the events of the first movie, I'm surprised that she didn't do, like, the most thorough background check on Batman, even if she thought that he was dead, to discover, like, oh, he's got a kid out there somewhere. Another one that's not, you know, that did go off the side of a cliff. That's not funny. Maybe I should, you know, be a little concerned about that. What's today's date? July 4th. <laughs> He's just so dramatic. Ben Willis is so dramatic. Okay, he couldn't have got far. I'll catch up with you guys later. No, no, no. That's how you should have known that he was the killer. What? Who in their right mind just runs off in the middle of a murder spree by themselves if they're not the killer or accomplice to the killer or just really fucking stupid? What are you gonna do with those? You gonna butter them? You gonna clean vegetables? <laughs> the way she looks at him, like, what the fuck? Then he got her crazy ass. Hey, hey, you okay? Damn, she was looking at that kitchen knife like I look at chicken nuggets, like, uh, oof. Chicken, chicken nuggets, chicken, chicken. Stop. Stop. You should have told us you had a boat. We're not going anywhere. 
You should have clocked him about four more times. Look, I'm sorry, but you could have been the one doing all this. You're the one who broke into my hiding place. I'm sorry. I must have missed the sign. <laughs> Damn. The fact that this man was fucking hiding inside the oven hood. <laughs> like, where is he gonna be next? The flower vase? You gotta lift up the toilet lid to pee and then there he is. Jesus Christ, that's my bedroom. Well, it's a good thing that nothing happened in that bed. <laughs> but yeah, that's nasty. Imagine, imagine you got your behold to the world and then somebody's just looking down. A nightmare, literally a nightmare. <laughs> God, you sick freak. I love it, I love it. All right, it's about to go down. Damn. Look, I love that she crawls over him. <laughs> Instead of going around. This shot, this shot, this shot, right here. Right. Bam, ooh, y'all, I can't even. It's so amazing, and I would play it again and again and again and again. You will never understand. I will never be able to make people, un how excited I was when I saw that in the trailer for the first time, and then I saw it in theaters. <gasps> I had an orgasm. Did you? Uh-huh. A floor blow one. Don't step right on the glass, though. Like, well, no wonder it's breaking. <laughs> Look, cause she puts both feet on the already broken glass. <laughs> oh, Miss Brandy, you didn't deserve it. You didn't deserve it. <laughs> Damn. With, with, with the pigeons or dove, whatever the hell they are, the birds flying about, it's just so dramatic. She grabbed the children. Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> then this bitch goes and tries to take the axe and break the master lock. <laughs> Damn. Saved by our Nikes. I really thought he was going to get her too. I would have been so... I, first Helen and now this? It's a movie about trauma. Carly, just grab a hold of my hand. I, I am holding your hand. No, no you're not. Not, <laughs> not with a shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That shelter, that storm shelter, whatever they're in, would have been full of shit. And now that I'm thinking about it, I mean, there's a bunch of dead bodies in there, so it probably realistically would have been full of shit. Look, the last time I saw the slicker guy was on the beach. I think we're safe, okay? And not one of them, not one of them noticed that this man took the ax out of her hand and literally threw it off the fucking balcony. Like, for what? He's the killer. That's killer energy, motherfucker. That's killer energy. I can't find a wound. It's not my blood, Julie. Oh, he looks cracked. <laughs> but like a little, like, I'm, I'm a little into it, but not really. Just a little bit. Stand up! What's your favorite radio station, Julie? It's 2023 and nobody listens to the fucking radio anymore. 96.7. It's, it's time, time for you to contemplate the, the ultimate quickie, quickie getaway. The way his face changes. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, like what even, what is that, a, a harpoon? Is that what that is? He, he put a harpoon through him? Oh, she passed away? Damn. Oh. I liked her too. Mm. She was smart. All right. I swear when she flies through, I swear in the background, there's like the sound of a gunshot. But I was sad at that point too. I thought she was dead right then and there. there this movie played way too much with my emotions. You'll get it. Will Benson. Will Benson. Ben Son. <laughs> Y'all, the theater was gagged. Let it go. Let it go. How did he even find them? <laughs> like just showed up to the island and randomly stumbled upon this hidden cemetery behind the co How? <laughs> you don't have it in you. You know what else he doesn't have? Bullets. This dumb idiot. How do you do that? And you show up and you don't even make sure that the gun is properly loaded. Ew. What do you mean shared her? Like who got which half? <laughs> like what does that mean? <laughs> Bye Will Benson. You were Ben's son. Just fucking die. 
That's how you do it. I mean, you probably should have put one in his forehead. Just in case. There's like a brief moment when he falls down in there that you can still see his eyes. Like, they're not blinking, but it's because like the water is hitting his eyes and you can see his eyes moving. I would have been like, so th this is what I invited you to. This is Tower Bay Island. Isn't it beautiful? Julie! Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I was so happy. Good old Ray. Hey, Koala. <laughs> you know, she would. She was probably like, where the f did you come from? How did you get here? And do you really think that you're not going to jail for the fact that you robbed somebody? Like you literally held somebody up at gunpoint and stole his boat? Oh, it's so 90s with the jean jacket thing that she, the, the top that she's got on. This, honestly, this is, I'm sure that this is all supposed to be a dream sequence, but for myself, this end sequence is one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie. Are you checking a watch again? Uh, you know me too well. Don't you dare go to sleep, girl. I mean, coming from him, that wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be excited about that. That wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't have confidence in that. I'd be like, will you, or will you disappear until I actually need you the most? Ray? Cause like, look at them. Too much pleasure with the toothbrush. They're clean, Freddy. Your teeth are clean. I love this thing. What? Oh, Ray. What are you doing with this whole thing in here like this? What are you doing? See, that's how you know it's a dream sequence. Cause there ain't no way in hell that she wouldn't have noticed that. Bye, Julie. See ya. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that was I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. It is still a badass movie. I absolutely love that movie. The first one is still my favorite. To me, the first one is like genuinely, not that this one isn't well-written or anything like that, but the first one is a more maybe well-crafted movie. I think the way that I would compare like the first and the second one is, is the first one I feel, because I know like the director who made the first one, he is not like a horror movie film director. So it's, uh, it's basically filmed like a drama with horror elements thrown into it, whereas the second one is just a slasher movie. The thing that I am most thankful, well, two things that I am most thankful about in this movie is that Julie became significantly less of a boring character. Like, it's not that I hate Julie in the first movie. I just feel like they killed off the more interesting characters. And even growing up, as much as I love the first film, I did notice that the second, like, that Helen dies in the first one, I was just like, all right, well, let's... Let's wrap this up here. Whereas in this one, th I, there's never really any moments where I feel like that. I mean, well, I guess technically like each time Ray is on screen because Ray is the weak link of this movie. They never ended up making a third. Well, they made well, they made a third one, but you know what I mean. They, they, there was another another one. So maybe in a in a perfect world in which we got another sequel and they came back, perhaps Ray would have actually you know been given more to do and been less of a waste of human breath. I had a fun time watching this. This movie is on. I, the, mentioned this before but like I like to rip the audio from movies that I like so like if I'm driving or I'm out shopping or doing or at the gym or something like that when I have my headphones on and sometimes instead of listening to music I want to listen to a movie this is one of those movies but you know th this is a movie that I listen to all the time this is a movie that I watch all the time both this and the first one absolutely awesome films some of my favorite movies and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching along with me let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments and I will see you next week